Um, it's Yvonne from the Somerset County Library System talking to you today about birds for Earth Day. And I want to give a big shout out to Dr. Jay Kelly at RVCC for forcing me to learn over 120 birds for my vertebrate zoology course. I thought it was torture, but it was really a great thing. Um, sincerely, thank you, because you've really opened up the whole forest for me. And it's something that everyone can practice. So everybody can go naked birding. So it sounds really scandalous, but what naked birding is, is naked eye birding, meaning you don't need binoculars. And just going out there and being able to recognize some of the birds out there, it just really, I don't know, it just really makes the experience that much more. So to help you today, I wanted to teach you three songs for birds. And don't worry, I will not be singing anything. The three birds are mimics. Um, so they sound like they'd be hard to learn, but they're really not. You all know the northern mockingbird. So your mockingbird mimics other bird songs and sings them and sings them and sings them. Well, your mockingbird will repeat phrases three to six times, typically around five times. So if you hear a bird that does the same phrase five times and then a different phrase right after it five times, you know you've got a mockingbird. Then you have the brown thrasher. I have one in my neighborhood right now singing his little heart out. You can tell a brown thrasher because he only does repeats of twos and threes. So if it's just twos and threes, you know you got a brown thrasher. And then your last mimic in New Jersey is your gray heart bird. I've lost my cat, um, but this is why it gets the name, because of this call. Somebody thought that sounded like a cat. I think it sounds like a sick cat. Um, but... That's where the name comes from, that mewling sort of noise. And this is their song. It's very discordant, very nasally. They don't repeat. They just do once, like single batches. So that's your cat bird. I'm going to move you over here, buddy. So I wasn't a big fan of cat birds until I participated in a bird banding program at Duke Farms with a wonderful man named Cliff who runs that station. And I didn't bird, you know, band any birds, but he needed volunteers to gently hold the birds and release them away from the tents when they were done being banded and their information was recorded. So I got really close to a bunch of cat birds and, uh, yeah. They're very cool now. I really like them. So I want to wish everybody a happy Earth Day. Go out and enjoy your Earth. Go see nature. Go look at some birds. Go listen to some bird song. And uh, I also wanted to recognize another important holiday today. So happy birthday, Mom. I know you're not supposed to have a favorite grandson, but here's Ed wishing you a happy birthday. So happy Earth Day, happy birthday, Mom, and happy reading, everybody. Hope you go out and enjoy some of the weather and enjoy the birds.